Hey guys, so today I'm back and I'm going to be filming Emerson's two month update. So today, she's actually turned two months, she actually turned two months, I think two days ago. So I'm a little bit behind, but I wanted to wait until um, she had her doctor's appointment so that I could give you guys like all her stats as far as like her height, weight and all that stuff. So let's start with those. So her height is, or I guess her length, um, is 22.5 inches, which is the 53rd percentile. So she's in the 53rd percentile for height. Her weight is 10 pounds, 6 ounces. So actually since birth, she's only gained 2 pounds. She was 8'6 at birth. Or no, I think she was 8'8 at birth actually. So she's gained less than 2 pounds. She's only in the 28th percentile for weight. So she's pretty small, which is so weird because my son was like always a giant from the beginning so she's definitely more petite and then her head circumference is 40.5 centimeters so she's in the 97th percentile for her head circumference which i don't know i'm not that surprised because my son's head is huge and was always like super off the charts and then on top of it my husband's head is very large <laughs> So poor girl has her daddy's genes when it comes to the head size, but hopefully that evens out eventually for her. So at her appointment, she got her first set of vaccinations. Technically she got the first round of hep B when she was in the hospital, but this was the first time she like got shots and it was really sad. Um, she did really good. She got the rotavirus, which is like the oral one that they did. And um, she did really good with that. But the actual shots of course she screamed and it was horrible i think it was harder on me than on her because i felt so bad um yeah so she got pricked in the thighs and she got two little band-aids on her thighs so that was really sad and the rest of the day she was pretty grouchy you definitely could tell that she was like not feeling the best afterwards so she definitely needed some extra cuddles and loves yesterday, but today she's been doing really well and acting totally fine. So thankfully it was just a one day thing. So one of the new things she's been doing this month is she started smiling, which is really fun and cooing. She really likes when you like sit super close to her and just talk to her and she'll just like study your face and talk back to you and coo and smile and laugh. And it's the cutest thing ever i'm so excited that she started smiling that's like one of the most fun things i feel like that your kid like one of the first you know like milestones that's super fun and sweet is when they smile at you and when they laugh at you another thing is she's holding her head up really well she um i don't know she doesn't really like tummy time she really liked it at first but now she definitely does not like it anymore she cries and it's horrible so I try and do tummy time like on my chest so she can kind of look at me and see me and that seems to help a little bit but she still is not a huge fan but she is holding her head up pretty well she does turn it like left to right and she's super strong in my opinion so I think she's doing okay with that she also is starting to fill out so she's like looking less wrinkly like you know how all newborns kind of look wrinkly and like an old an old man almost um, so now she's definitely starting to fill out in her face and her cheeks and everything um, and she's starting to look more like herself I guess like you can definitely see different features now than when she was first born the last few days and super like new thing that she's been doing is sucking on her hands like she fits like three of her fingers in her mouth and just like sucks on them all day long <laughs> I don't know why like I don't know if she just has like discovered her hands now or if she just I don't know like it's just a fun interesting thing for her but I've noticed too at night like if she she'll drop her pasty because obviously she's at the point where like she can't keep her pasty in her mouth or put it back in herself um, so if she drops her pasty, she'll like suck on her fingers to go to sleep, like to pacify herself, which I guess is a good thing that she can like calm herself, but I just think it's kind of funny. She also really loves her play mats. We have like one of those play mats. I'll insert a picture, but it has like the little piano on the one side and then um, like the hanging toys in the middle. So she really likes that. It has a mirror on it. So she definitely likes to look at herself and watch herself in the mirror, which is super cute. She'll like smile at herself and like laugh and stuff when she sees herself. Um, but she does really well with that. And that's like her favorite thing right now. Another new thing is she just started sleeping in her crib by herself. Um, I think we started that like a week or two ago. No, like a week ago. Um, so that's 
new and exciting. Um, it's kind of hard. I don't really like that she's not super close by, but she's doing really well. The reason we decided to put her, put her in her crib overnight is because she is sleeping through the night now, which is also amazing. Um, every now and then she'll wake up at like 4 a.m. and look like want a bottle, but for the most part every night she's sleeping anywhere between like 7 to 10 hours at night, which is amazing. Um, the last, and it was like last week, she slept for 10 hours, like three nights in a row, <laughs> and it was insane. She slept from like 9 p.m. to 7 a.m., which was amazing. So I'm super, super grateful that she's a good sleeper and that we were lucky enough to have another newborn that is a good sleeper. Thank you, Lord. Um, the last thing is that we're still kind of struggling with spit up issues with her. Um, I feel like personally she spits up a lot. Um, and I asked her pediatrician about it and she suggested um, keeping her on the Similac sensitive, which is what we're using right now, which is for gassy, gassiness, fussiness, and spit up. Um, so we're doing that still. And we're also giving her gripe water sometimes, I'd say like once a day, sometimes twice a day if she's super fussy, but I mean, sometimes, some days she doesn't need it at all, but I notice, I'll notice like if she's super gassy or fussy, then I'll give it to her and it definitely seems to help like almost immediately. But the pediatrician also recommended to have her sit up for 30 minutes after she eats to maybe like help everything pass down like her, I don't know, digestive tract, I guess, before we lay her down. So we've been trying that the last two days and that has seemed to help. Although just today, like my husband literally just fed her and is sitting her up right now and she just fed up quite a bit. So I don't really know if that's working or not, but the past two days, it seemed to have helped. She's been barely spitting up at all, really, um, besides just now. So we'll see. We're going to keep with it, and hopefully that will be the answer, although it is kind of difficult to keep her sitting upright for 30 minutes. She gets really annoyed. <laughs> so I'll either hold her or we'll, like, prop her up in the boppy. Like, we'll do the boppy lounger and then the actual, like, boppy pillow around her on top of it, and we'll just, like perch her up and she looks like a little queen on top of her throne <laughs> um, and that usually helps but I don't know we'll see I feel like long term that's going to be kind of difficult to keep that up but hopefully we figure out something to help with the spit up issue because I feel bad like she obviously is uncomfortable spitting up probably tastes really gross for her and it's just not good because then she's not getting a ton of formula um, she's eating about five ounces now per bottle and she's eating about, I think like five, four to five times a day. So she's eating about 20 to 25 ounces a day, which is pretty much right on track um, with how much she should be eating. So hopefully we figure out the spit up issue because the problem is she's spitting up so much. I feel like she's really not getting enough formula because then she's spitting up like half of what she's eating. So realistically, she's really only getting like 15 ounces of formula. So. Hopefully we'll get it under control. If you guys have any suggestions for that, please let me know because at this point I'm kind of willing to try anything um, to see if we can help her because I feel really bad. I don't want her to be in pain, you know? But yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Um, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and happy. It is day, what day is it? Let's see. So we stayed in last Friday. So it's been like, I think this is like day eight for us of our self quarantine um, because of the coronavirus. We are still going out to the grocery stores and like to necessary places like the grocery store, the pharmacy. I guess that's pretty much it to get like gas. Um, but we have pretty much been staying in completely since then. Our kids have not left the house at all since then, except for Emerson left the house yesterday to go to her pediatrician appointment. But that's it, we are not going to families' houses, we're not really doing anything. Um, and I'm kind of getting a little a little cabin fever. I'm getting a little stir crazy because out here it's been really cold so we can't really like go outside to do bubbles and chalk or like go for a walk or really anything. Um, I've been trying to get out like when it's over 40 degrees I'll just bundle boat and up and we'll just like go sit outside for 30 minutes or something because it's really helpful but I hope you guys are healthy and you guys are also practicing self-quarantining because it's super important and yeah hopefully by my next monthly update all of this will be over 
and it will be beautiful outside and we'll all be back to normal. But until then, I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.